I decided to apply for this workshop because I, I realized that scientists in West Africa are not talking. Scientists in West Africa are not writing. And we are not, because we are not writing and talking about topical issues, we are not influencing policy. And that to me is very much important. The, the influencing policy is as important as the work we do in the laboratory. Neither is more important the, than the other. So I, I saw this workshop as an opportunity to, to build capacity, to be able to engage media and the public more, and also from my position as a lecturer to be able to pass on this knowledge to my students. And in fact, it's one of the projects that <coughs> we're going to do. We're going to find a way of engaging students to, to write, because we realize that that aspect of writing and talking about issues that are affecting us is not pursued in a certain way within the university setting, at least in my university and in the sciences especially. Our focus is on research, getting data, interpreting the data and publishing in journals, which very few people in the public have access to. But if we begin to do what we, we call, for instance, citizen journalism, we'll be engaging our students, our researchers in, in, in social media and then online media outlets. And so we'll be able to to talk more about the issues that are affecting us. If you take, for instance, the quality of our water bodies, from my perspective, the most dangerous aspect even has to do with the pollutants in there. And it's not so much about just general pollution, but the pollutants that are indirectly affecting the health of people, the mycotoxins in the, the, the cereals that are around that are affecting, predisposing people to cancers, the pesticide residues that are making people vulnerable to diabetes and, and cancers. So this will be our engagement. We'll begin to look more towards using the public or the, the online media sources, the news outlets, the radio stations and, and the media outlets to send out this information than just focusing on, on the scientific journals. Yes, I, I really love, I must commend the United Nations University for this workshop. And I wish, if I knew this, I would have uh, actually encouraged more of my colleagues in the, in the biological sciences, environmental sciences, to actually be part of this program. Because for the first, I have never had the, uh, the opportunity to interact with journalists uh, and news reporters as I have. This is my first experience. And I find it very interesting. We always assume that once we know it and we publish it, everybody knows it, everybody gets to hear of it. But that is not the case. You really have to find a way of making it meet your scientific audience, but you must also make it meet your general public who are, who, who are not scientists. And so I find this format for training and the content very, very interesting and very engaging as well.